So um, this question that we're looking at now says, in triangle PQV, we've got a point S, right, which is on PW, and R is a point on QW. We can see that that's point S that lies on the line PW, and there's also point R that lies on that other straight line, which is line QRTW. Okay, cool. And then we're told that T is a point on um, uh, QW. We can see that. And then we see that ST is parallel to PR. ST is parallel to, to, to PR. That's very important to keep in mind. Okay, cool. There's another pair of parallel lines, which is SR and PQ. We can see all that. Uh, now we are told that RT is equal to 6 centimeters. Only this small piece that you're looking at from here to there is equal to 6 units. We are happy to see that. Now, there's an important piece of information that you're looking at there. We are told that WS to SP equals to 3 is to 2. Now, the other way of writing that, the other way of writing that is to say WS divided by SP is the same as 3 divided by 2, right? Now, when you get a ratio like this, guys, very important for you to understand that it doesn't mean that WS is 3 units and the other one is 2 units. It means when you divide them, whatever they are, when you divide them, your answer is going to be 3 over 2. You could find that the other one is 30, the other one is 20. 30 over 20 is 3 over 2. The other one could be 300 and the other one could be 200. We don't know what they are, but we know that when you divide them, you are always going to get an answer of 3 over 2, right? Now, because we don't know the multiplying, um, the multiplying factor in this particular case, we're going to introduce a variable to claim that, okay, we don't know what the, the length of the other one is. It's probably 3 times something, and the other one is 2 times something. That something could be 1, it could be 2, it could be 100, it could be anything, right? The just ratio when you divide them is always going to be 3 over 2. So when you're given a ratio, introduce a variable for each part of the ratio and put that on your diagram. It's always about love letter into the diagram. Very important to keep that in mind. Now, let's see how we are going to do this one. I don't know what WS is. This WS that you're looking at, this piece here, it's not 3. It is 3 times something. So I'm going to put K there. And this one is not 2 as well. It's 2 times something, right? So very important for you to keep that in mind. Now, that is the only info that was given to me that should be enough to help me to figure out the solution of what we are trying to figure out here. The first question says we need to calculate WT, okay? Where is WT? WT is this small piece that you're looking at here. So we know for a fact that WT divided by TR should be equal to WS divided by SP. Where does this come from? This comes from the proportionality theorem. So I'm going to say prop theo. Why? Because the line ST is parallel to the line PR. Some people use one line parallel uh, the other side of a triangle. That is actually line parallel, one side of triangle, that is also acceptable. The idea there is if you've got a triangle and one side is parallel to the other side of a triangle, what you do on one side, you need to repeat on the other. The ratio of the side on one uh, side of that particular triangle is the same as the ratio on the other side. So what you do on the right, you must also do on the left, that persists and continues. So what is WT? We don't know what WT is. We know that the other one is 6. The answer should be 3K over 2K. You will see once you start simplifying this, you get WT is equals to um, 3 times 6 all over 2 because the Ks simply cancel out, right? And then this is going to give you a length of 9 centimeters. Very powerful. Okay, cool. Now the last part of the question says to us, we need to now calculate WQ. We now need to find WQ. Let's go and check what WQ is. We now know that this is actually 9 units. Now, when I'm trying to figure out what WQ is, I'm going to look at the following triangle, beautiful people. I'm going to look at it like this. I'm going to look at this triangle right there. That has P here. That has Q here. That has got W here. And I'm going to focus on these lines, right? Where does S here? We know that this is 2K. We know that, that this is 3K. We know that now this is 9 plus 6, people, which gives you 15 centimeters. We don't know what this is, right? But we're trying to figure out the whole length. We want to find the whole length of that uh, WQ. So if I go long distance here, divided by that 15, I should get the long distance on the other side, divided by just that part, which is 3 there. So that's how I'm actually going to phrase my uh, uh, equation here. I'm going to say um, WQ over 15 is 5k because when you combine all the sides on that particular side so wq over 15 will be 5k over 3k let's go and get that uh, uh, on paper there okay fine so wq over 15 should be giving us 5k all over 3k again is because of 
the proportionality theorem for some odd reason people forget this why is this a case let's check which pair is responsible for this particular ratio this pair is the one that is responsible for us uh, using that particular ratio now we are looking at sr and pq they are the lines that are parallel sr and pq because sr is parallel to pq very very powerful and then you'll just finish this off by saying wq divided by 15 is the five the k and the k will cancel you're just left with five over three and then wq um, is going to be equal to five times 15 divide by three and then this should give you exactly 25 centimeters and that is the length of uh, your wq very powerful in date thank you very much for sending out that question let's check the proportionality theorem the application of the proportionality is always easy the ratio on one side is always equal to the ratio on the other side if you're given ratios just introduce variables because the, those ratios are not really giving you the actual values they're just giving you the relationship between two things when you're dividing them